almost more than 40 years, I worked for Pratt & Whitney and United Technologies Research Center. Hamilton Standard, Sikorsky, and Pratt & Whitney were here. I would say they really grew together. They started dishing out some of the work that was being done to the neighboring areas. That's where the alley happened. ACM started 25 years ago, back in 1999, with uh, about six member companies at the time, and we've grown from them um, to a little over 130 member companies. And this region that we, we have here in Connecticut and Western Massachusetts is what we call Aerospace Alley. And it really is, you know, a, a global hub for aerospace manufacturing with all, the, with all the companies that are here that are centrally located that work together, you know, offering advanced manufacturing services, special processing. We have a very strong supply chain um, with hundreds and hundreds of companies that work in the aerospace industry. And one of the great advantages in Connecticut is the density of manufacturing in that you can have an entire supply chain no more than 20 to 25 miles away from your plant and your facility. Manufacturing is so important to the economy of the state of Connecticut that the legislature has created this chief manufacturing officer position and every job that's created in manufacturing creates three other jobs in the economy as well. So we look at the aerospace manufacturing as an economic growth and driver and as also a um, job creation opportunity as well. So the aerospace industry in Connecticut is the single largest industry within the manufacturing sector. 25% of all aircraft engines that are manufactured in the U.S. are made here in Connecticut. And we have 36,700 people that work in the aerospace industry in the state, which makes us, one of, on a per capita basis, the single largest concentration of aerospace workers in the United States. And it's fueling. Connecticut's economy is the fastest growing economy in the region for two years in a row. A lot of that is generated by the aerospace industry. And in 2002, we had the seventh fastest growing economy in the United States here in Connecticut. And again, so um, when, when we look at uh, the GDP growth in the state of Connecticut, aerospace again is the single largest sector. And so when you look at an excess of $30 billion in manufacturing revenue, um, a, a good portion of that is, is dedicated to aerospace. We get contracts, you know, of the order of 18 to $20 billion a year. People are benefiting, state is benefiting, the town has grown, the quality of life of people has improved tremendously. I think what's really important in order to get government involved, it is the firm belief of the Connecticut government that the best thing we can do is help you stay in business now and also allow for your growth by providing individuals who uh, whose education has aligned to their needs. So in the state of Connecticut, we have developed partnerships with local community colleges and universities to actually create curriculum around the needs of our manufacturers. We are growing the pipeline earlier and earlier to ensure that we have skilled employees for these fantastic companies. So the importance of having a pipeline or the, to show, the importance of showing the students the possibility of working in aerospace or working in manufacturing is really important, especially if we capture it when they are in middle school or high school. We are able to create that pipeline between what they need. We give them really good students and then when the students come, and so it creates a really nice kind of like a cycle for things. It allows the students want to stay here in Connecticut, get jobs here in Connecticut and then stay. And everybody would benefit from these things. The money will come, the government will benefit, the country will benefit. And level of uh, expertise in the country will improve. South Korean economy will improve. 
Now, Korea has done an outstanding job, you know, like vehicles, power generation, they've done an outstanding job. Investing in aerospace will put you ahead of most of the people. Again, Korean industry has shown that they can produce very competitive products. So there is no reason they can't they can do it uh, for the aerospace industry uh, using existing technology. Uh, new advanced technology is not being used, so it's a big opportunity uh, for Korea. You do, do need to get into it quick if you want to take a lead, and I, I'm sure a lot of people, you, you would have a lot of market.